Yeah. Right out of the gates, he was very, um, you know, I would, I would go and talk to him in his office for a bit. And I remember asking him like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say in this promo? And it was always unscripted for that, that first month or so. It was completely unscripted. He'd say, don't worry, just go out there and get yourself over. So don't worry about being a good guy. Don't worry about being a bad guy. Go out there and let us know who you are and get yourself over. And then um, at some point he, he told me like, you've got to stop being so funny. Cause I, I just kept like pushing it a little bit. And then one week I did the, you, you guys ever seen full metal jacket? There's a scene with a uh, private pile where they find a jelly donut in his foot locker and they make a big production. So I did something similar with Tony Chimmel. And it was at that point, Vince said enough, like no more funny stuff. Stop being so funny. And then for the longest time, it was hard for me to wrap my head around what he was trying to tell me. He was just like, I don't believe you. Like, that's not how you talk to people. And it, like, I always felt like it was when, when I was pissed off at somebody, I get very animated. And, you know, my wife will say like, oh, here we go. Going to cut a promo on me, you know, <laughs> like, um, so it was just like, it was really hard for me to, now you're telling me that all the things that got me to the dance in the first place, you want me to stop doing that? That doesn't make sense. And I resisted for so long. And, um, but, but I do, I, I do agree with him to some degree. Like he, he would always say like funny doesn't equal money. Um, and I, I reminded him, I was like, well, what about the rock? Cause the rock was pretty goddamn funny. You know, and, and he just, one of the things he said was, yes, he was, but there was a point where he had to do that every single time he came out. And if he didn't hit, it was like a loss. And I kind of recall, you know, like he would come out and he would cut, he cut the Billy Gunn promo, which is my favorite promo of all time when he was speaking as God. And if he didn't come out there and give that sort of delivery every time, it was like, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. 